a stream at like 3 a.m. Would she watch the VOD? Um, I don't know if she goes back and watches the VODs, but... Okay, I told her I just started a stream if you wanna watch. But if not, I'm gonna play the end of this fucking game because I'm too excited. Was that Donald Duck? Okay, um. No, it was this TikTok that I've seen in a couple. Cringe compilations. So let's just make sure the stream is up. It is. All right, I'm ready. I think uh, I think I leveled up enough. I kind of just want to jump into it. I might. I might go around for a little bit longer to finish up a couple of things. Other than that, I'm ready to go. That's good. Yeah, I'll, I'll do a couple side things first. No big ones. Like, I'm not going to do the flame right now. But maybe finish up do. these two venom yeah. ones. Those don't have any, like story at the end you're not what? missing anything like like you're not there's no like like even the craven things have like a an ongoing story that you that, that you can sort of follow along with and there's like a clock that there's like an ending the yeah. symbiotes don't have anything Yeah, e like, even with the Craven things I was doing, I'm just getting all the small ones out of the way. I'm not gonna do any of, like, the bases until after the game. Like, the big ones. Okay, what's going on with my... Yeah. My headset. Another nest. These things freak me out. Let's clean this place up. Venom is like pretty scary for for a Marvel villain in certain versions. Like Venom. It's kind of a DC villain. Yeah. Marvel definitely has, like, scary things. Marvel has some scary things, but even, like, their scary things are usually, especially lightly, portrayed in a not scary way. Like, even if they're scary. Like Venom. Yeah, like Venom. But, it's definitely, like, scary in this way. Or, like, I'm 18, I'm not like scared by that. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? He's portrayed in a scary manner. Not when he's an anti hero in, in the movies. Did you hear the, the thing, the, um, the guy that's in charge of the MCU said? What did he say? He like just. And this, it probably means nothing, for, like, the most part. But he just said that, like, every piece of media is in the multiverse. Well, yeah, like, everything. What do you mean, every piece of media? Like, every, like, yeah, every, like, answer. 
No, not just MC, like everything in Marvel. Like any show, like any, like any show, this game, any any game. Well, that kind of makes sense. Just with... they can say that it doesn't really fucking mean anything. It yeah, could it's just like it's just yes. it's just a multiverse. Like they explored that. In yeah, the and they're doing the, multiverse stuff now. In the Miles Morales movie, they had Insomniac Spider-Man in it. Just in the background. Yeah, but now, like, Marvel, not Sony Marvel, just Marvel, is also doing... Which is so weird to me. I'm, like, reading... stuff. I'm reading too much into it, but it's so weird to me that in Across the Spider-Verse, you see Genki playing Spider-Man 2. But then Insomniac Spider-Man is in the, in the movie. Yeah. So, like, is he aware he's a video game character and, like, people fucking control him? <laughs> is somebody controlling him there? If you think about it, it gets crazy. But... Like, yeah, this is not to scale. Look at how huge Peter is. <laughs> They should put Venom in Beyond the Spider-Verse. They should scrap everything they've done so far, and just, like, make him the main villain. <laughs> Do it the Star Wars Disney way? You don't even know what that means. But that's what they did. They had... What'd they do? So they had no roadmap for 7, 8, and 9. Like, literally yeah. no roadmap. They let the directors do whatever the fuck they wanted. So, episodes... Oh, I, I enjoy that. Ep well, it's not good. With a mega series like that, you need to have a roadmap. You know. Yes, you do, Ian. And this is the perfect case study why. Um, episode 7, directed by J.J. Ab Abrams. He set multiple storylines up. He had a vision, right? Episode 8, directed by Ryan Johnson. He fucking shit. Which they just had J.J. Abrams direct the next one. I still think with something, with most things, I'd be fine with like, oh yeah. Like, I love giving directors power to do what they want. They have just found the but with a massive IP as important as Star Wars, no. You can't leave it up to just like one dude. If it... If it's not George Lucas, you can't leave it up to one dude to just fucking decide what this massive piece of media gets to do. Like, that has to go through a team. But, so, episode 7... Oh, I don't care about your opinion, bro. I, that's just... I don't care about yours. That's the way it should be. That's the I way it should like, be. Like, you're giving me your opinion like it matters. I'm gonna give you mine like it does, too. So, you, you're fine if they just, like give a random dude full control over the biggest piece of media ever and he can just fucking shit yeah just on some guy on the street can do like they just walk up to some homeless dude and there, tell him there he's in no of Star Wars. something I like think that, that needs cool. to be storyboarded something as big and important as that but again not, case... not not like a successful famous director who's proven tracker just so any random person would work i think that I gen you're saying this sarcastically, but this is actually some shit you'd say. It's not. It is. Because I'm saying it. It's actually some shit you'd say. Um But they brought JJ Abrams in, he set stuff up. It's honestly a pretty boring story, it seems like. Like he's kinda just doing the exact same thing as four, five, and six is what he set up. But it doesn't matter. They brought in Ryan Johnson in episode eight. He shits on everything. Like, every... Isn't that the Knives Out guy? Yeah. Every single... thing that J.J. Abrams had set up, Ryan Johnson either completely pivoted, made it go in a completely different direction, like, completely changed character motivations, how they acted, and he just killed off multiple inside, ginormous people like out of fucking nowhere like Try multiple people just got killed off that jj abrams obviously had a plan for um 
so then they give it back to J.J. Abrams. And J.J. Abrams, instead of, like, okay, boo-hoo, Ryan Johnson ruined your story, you have to, you have to kind of go with that now, right? Like, you have to go with what Ryan Johnson made to complete the trilogy. Nope. J.J. Abrams makes the movie he wanted to make for Nine, but obviously, like, that's impossible to do well because Eight destroyed his story, so he had these crazy-ass, like, plot holes and completely, like, random explanations for things. Like, I don't know if you've heard about this, but, like, I'll explain a little bit. So, like, the big bad guy was supposed to be Snoke. That, who he's, that's who he was setting up. It was this dude named Snoke. Snoke gets killed in Eight. Um... So, so then, um, J.J. Abrams comes back, he's missing his big bad guy, so this kind of became a meme, but, like, somehow Emperor Palpatine returned. Yeah, I and, know about that. Yeah. He just fucking pulled that shit out of his ass. They don't explain it in the movie. Like, that's literally how they explain it in the movie. Like, they say, like, the Force works in mysterious ways. He's back. Who fucking knows? <laughs> and, um, like, in episode 7, a big thing was, like, finding Luke Skywalker so he can help, like, rebuild the Order and stop the First Order. Um, and, like, at the end of 7, there's this big climax where they found him, and then in 8, Ryan Johnson, like, used that as a joke and like had Luke be this crazy ass old hermit who like hates the force now. So that whole plot line got destroyed. But then in nine, JJ Abrams just goes back to making Luke seem like the super honorable <laughs> like Jedi. Like like episode eight didn't happen. It's I don't all see three of those movies this doesn't, with each other. This doesn't prove your point to me. This doesn't, it sounds, the issue is the director, not the lack of preparation. The first one had a plan. He, he knew what he wanted to do. And then they switched Yeah, but him even, I, I still don't even like the story he was trying to tell. Because with seven that's and, under, that's seven and nine, thing. you can see the story he was trying to tell. It's not, it's not that compelling. But. That's a separate problem altogether. I don't even why did we start talking about this? Because it wasn't... We've we've gotten sidetracked in this conversation. Though, I mean... The reason we got the year was... The, um... Directors getting full control. And big like that, projects. I don't remember how that... How we got there, though. Yeah. I'm trying to remember what was before that. But no, I love directors getting full control. Like, I love... I, I love A24 for that, like for sure, and like even with other big IPs that aren't fucking Star Wars big, like if, like A24 trying to go for big horror IPs, I'd be fine with a more experimental version with a director getting full control of like a classic slasher IP or something, like I'm all for that, but Star Wars is like, it's, it's in its own world. It's not, that's like literally one of, it's not one of it, that is the most successful franchise ever that makes the most money. There has to be a certain amount of care put into that. You, you can't just, you can't, MCU had Avatar. a plan. Avatar had a plan. Or, I mean, the plan was by one dude, but he deserves plan. that plan. He made that. That's why I'm saying that. Like, I feel like if anybody deserves full control over Star Wars, it's like George Lucas, because that's his fucking story. <laughs> like, that's the one guy I'd be okay with just like, being like, yeah, this is what I want to do. He um, gave it away. Let someone else do that. Well, Disney bought it, and also, Disney screwed him. I don't, I don't know if you know anything about this, but, like, they actually just fucking lied to him. Like, they said, he had a story written out for the sequel trilogy, and Disney's like, oh yeah, we'll use this, and they just, they didn't, <laughs> obviously. Like, they actually just fucking lied to him. 
Like, I don't think he would have sold it if he knew this is how it was going to turn out. Like, he thought they were going to use his ideas and they threw them all in the garbage. I didn't know that. Like, he's gone on interviews talking about how, like, betrayed he feels. Because especially because the owner of it now, like, Kathleen Kennedy, she, like, worked for him. So he, like, trusted her. <clears throat> <laughs> I, I just think with something as big as that, there has to be. Another nest. There's a different expectation. Where to go? What the uh, fuck? As if these things weren't creepy I, enough already. There's definitely a bigger, a different and bigger expectation today. I, I think there has to be a certain I amount of care. Sonic burst is ready. There has to be that. Sort that's different. Than, I like, think. it's just like just Star Wars. Even other like big IPs, Star Wars is just like. That is literally the biggest one. I, I think it has to be respected as such, and there I has don't to think... be more thought into it than just one dude and hoping he comes up with a good idea. I don't think just because it's like that doesn't mean there's not care put into it. There wasn't. It's like, that's I'm, exactly what I'm not there saying was. there was or wasn't. But that doesn't mean just because there wasn't this time. Doesn't mean one dude can't put care into it. One dude can put care into it and even just like make a bad story. Like I, I think it has. To be. That is the one. I, I that has to be. A thousand people can put care into it and it be a bad story. I know, I, but I'm saying I Man, still think that level is necessary. It doesn't have to be a thousand people. Either. Like I just said, and approved. Even if Any it's just... number of people can put care into something that you're not shooting. Like, I know you love weird, crazy movies where a director has full control. That's not, that's not, that doesn't belong in Star Wars. Unless it's like a spin-off. If it's a spin-off, I don't fucking care. But like, a titled, episodic Star Wars movie. That's like, that's a filmmaking, like, event. Like, they, it seems like they gave more control to, like, Rogue One and Han Solo. I, I'm fine with that. Even though I hate some of the decisions made in those movies. I fucking hate Han Solo. But they definitely gave the director room to wiggle with that, and I'm fine. It's just a spin -off. But the episodic ones, I have to be held with the story. I, I think that's what I'm saying. It's just, like, literally any other movie. Even a Star Wars spin-off, I think it's fine. But I disagree. Finally. Okay, I don't. Sh shut up, then. <laughs> don't act like your opinion was... means anything more than mine. It does. One point eight. Does safe now. Take a breather, and when you're ready, get inside. And you're still just as much of a nobody as I am. That's not true. Your life is still just as meaningless as mine is. That's not true. You haven't amounted to anything yet. You're still in college. You I've gotten a job. I've I've known. I'm I've in multiple organizations. I've been a part of multiple groups I've been in an and clubs and sports teams. I've been in clubs. No, you I was haven't. On the soccer, I played soccer. Yes, I have. Not when you were eight, Ian. Okay, sports. I, besides, when I was eight. Well, what, one of our uh, one there. of our plans is to go homeless, and it's not my plan. <laughs> That's not my plan. That is your plan. Your your plan is to plan. never work again. So that that either means like living off your parents or going homeless. Or or getting an OnlyFans, but you're not a woman. <clears throat> let's let's bring this to the Brian. You're looking very inside the box. Inside the box. Yeah, you, you. There's you seeing it as there's two solutions. What do you see yourself doing? I haven't looked outside the box yet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think something's gonna. I don't think an opportunity is just gonna like fall in front of you. 
We'll say. Are you gonna gamble? Are you gonna like buy lottery <laughs> tickets? <laughs> like, <laughs> imagine that somebody like seen your exit presentation. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, I'm gonna gamble and <laughs> like buy scratch tickets until I hit it big. You changed your mind about doing that? <laughs> Peyton Van Every made her presentation about being an exotic dancer. Yeah, I know. I was in the class. <laughs> I mean, I, I applaud the confidence to go up there and say, yeah, I'm going to be a stripper. <laughs> that was the point. It was a joke. I wouldn't put it past her, though. I've heard some crazy stories about Peyton. Yeah. She told me once, um, she had sex with this dude, and, uh, she, she, like, like, she knew that's what was gonna happen, and she, you have a lot of tech parts. She knew that's what was gonna happen, and, like, like, she invited this guy over, and she, like, she put on Fight Club. She said it's her favorite movie. <laughs> I so think you've that's told why she me put it on. Before. That's such a crazy choice. I don't like for a sex for movie. A sex movie. Like, let's yeah. put on Fight Club. <laughs> like, I know what's about to happen. Fucking Fight Club. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna deny it as a quality movie. It's a great movie. I want to watch it soon. Like, I. It's a great movie. I want to rewatch it again. I've seen it a few times already. Yeah, but yeah just, I want to see it. Like, that's just a crazy choice there. And there's a line in the movie that's like. 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 I'm fucking Vinny. Who the fuck are you? Like, that. <laughs> like, it's something. It's something like that. And it's. She said it's her favorite line, so when it came up, she said it. <laughs> like, during. Yeah, you've told me this story before. <laughs> if I was a, the dude in that situation, I'd be, like, fucking embarrassed. <laughs> I would stop. <laughs> be like, what the She's, fuck? She said he was like, what? And then she was like, nothing. <laughs> Like, he didn't hear her, or didn't comprehend what she said. <laughs> uh, Bethany just joined in the middle of this conversation. I, just, I saw one viewer watching. <laughs> it was Peyton. <laughs> I don't even think she heard the first part. She just heard, like... <laughs> Half of the story. Okay, I have the cannon suits on. Have the cannon suits on. Have everything mostly upgraded. Can you restart the story? <laughs> Did Bethany just ask that? Yeah. Ian, do you want to give it another go? <laughs> sure. Um, <laughs> how... I need, I need an organic, like, how'd the story start? What, did, what was the conversation? Um, we, it got brought up how, uh, Peyton put in her senior exit that she was going to be a stripper. And then you said <laughs> you heard some crazy stories about Peyton. I, I heard, um, I said that I've heard some crazy things about Peyton, and then you said Peyton told me one time. Okay, um. You have to laugh, like, this is the- you, like, you just heard it. <laughs> <laughs> you, like, you have to laugh, like, 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 you- It can be, like, you already heard it, but this is the first time in a while, and you don't really remember it. Why are- okay. why are we acting? Cause, I'm- It's gonna feel weird just telling the same exact <laughs> story again, and getting no response. After just getting okay, like, okay, I'll I'll do my down. like I'll do my sympathy giggles. Don't. Don't do that. 
I'll do the same giggles we do when we watch like YouTube videos and I force myself to laugh. To like it's realize it's fine. You admitted to doing the same exact thing. No, that's not what I said I do. Well, I what I, you do is what I do. Like I let myself laugh at things. No, that's the also I what I said I do is it make look. You misunderstood it. And I feel like me explaining it is gonna make me sound stupid. Because it's definitely it definitely feels stupid for this to be the case. I don't know when something like my only indicator if something's funny is if No, I I, I remember you told me this, but like so like our logic was that like you don't realize something's funny unless you like kind of let yourself laugh and if you like if you're just sitting there trying to be quiet and you don't like even like let yourself enjoy the moment it's not gonna seem funny like if you laugh like you automatically you're like yeah that was funny like i that's what no, i'm saying not not even that like i i feel like we're i don't know really how to explain this but i it sounds wrong what you're saying like, I just... Like, I could think something is funny, right? Like, I'd be no, watching a I YouTube couldn't. video, and I think something is, like, maybe slightly humorous, but I don't laugh at it, because I really... I'm not... I don't laugh when I'm by myself. And then I leave that YouTube video thinking, like, yeah, that was okay. But then, if I watch it again with you, and I, like, laugh when I'm supposed to, like, when I think something's funny, I, like, I laugh, I'm like, yeah, that's a really funny video. Okay. And I'm pretty I, sure that's exactly what you said. That is very close. I think it's finished download. I like okay, so what you Thanks said is data. like you think it's funny and you're like that was alright. But you didn't laugh, but you're still like, that was kinda funny. And then later on we watch it together and you you laugh and you're like, Oh, that's actually really funny. Craven was Which is so close. I what, did he think this kid watch, had powers? If, in our, in that exactly case, if, if I experienced the exact the same thing as civilians? you, but in my way, it would be I watched the first thing and was like, that's not funny. Because I didn't laugh. Not, that was alright. It would be, that's not funny. And then I watch it with you, and I, and I, like, like, the, like, I guess the group activity of laughing kicks on, and I'm like, oh, that's actually hilarious. It's not... If I don't laugh, it's not funny. There's no, it's fine. I have, like, I'm, if I don't laugh, So you're it's narcissistic? Not a funny thing. You're like, yeah, if it doesn't it's get not, through I me... I mean, personally <laughs> funny. <laughs> <laughs> I don't- I'm not saying I'm the king of comedy. <laughs> Alright, tell the fucking story. <laughs> um, so you were talking to- Peyton was talking to you. So... Peyton was saying that... Do you want me to um, tell it? <laughs> no, I just had- I just had like a- like... I just started thinking about something else, and I had to get my mind back on track. Um... Peyton told me this story. Why is he looking at me um, like this? <laughs> <laughs> like he's seriously he's like spreading his butt. <laughs> like, <laughs> look, like that's what he's. That's not even like the photo mode being weird. That's what he was doing. Um, that was weird. Uh, Peyton told me this story. Uh, she said she had sex with this guy, and um, like she invited him over, and when she when he got there, she like put on the movie Fight Club. Which is a weird Which, sex movie. Yeah. Bethany, I don't know if you know Fight Club at all, but that's a crazy choice. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it is not, it's a not, it's not a Netflix and chill movie. That's like a... That's a wild, that's a movie, like, that's just, that's a movie you just have to watch. Like, you can't, yeah. like, yeah. I don't care how many times you've seen it, that's not a movie you just, like, put on in the background. That's yeah. a movie that's like, I want to watch a movie. What sounds good? Oh my god, Fight Club. I haven't seen that in so long. That's not a movie like 
put on and do paperwork. <laughs> but, um... So she put that... Or have movie sex. On. Paperwork or yeah. sex. Those are, like, the two things that you do yeah. when you turn on a movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Actually. I don't what the fuck bleep! But um Okay. So she put that movie on. She the I instantly when she said that I started laughing. And she just like was like she didn't think it was that funny. Like I did. But she, like, also, like, instantly had an explanation. She's like, well, it's my favorite movie. And I was like, that's... It's a great movie. I'm not... Yeah. I'm not <laughs> that. That's like... It's like, imagine... Imagine I brought... I don't want to. I don't want to say that because I'm gonna get in trouble. Imagine I brought, but I also don't want to say the person's name. Imagine I brought somebody into my room for sex, and we can all infer. Say Bethany. <laughs> <laughs> like, imagine that's what's going down. And I put on like Whiplash. <laughs> I'm like, this is my favorite movie. Uncut gems. <laughs> I put on The Godfather, and I'm like, listen, this is a great movie. <laughs> like, no, you put on, like, you put on Monsters, Inc. Or you put on, you put on some sort of kids movie or some sort of comedy, some sort of rom-com. That's, that's usually the go-to. It's not, it's not, it's not like critically acclaimed movies. Yeah. I put on seven. Uh, <laughs> or the Joker. Uh, Bo is help, afraid. <laughs> Bo is afraid would be a crazy sex movie. That might, that might work. All right, um, but anyways, what were you saying? Um. So. But, um. So she put that movie on, and like. It started happening. Everything was going down, and a part of the story I don't think I, I'm like I'm ninety percent sure it happened, because she also just like just told me stories for some reason. So I don't know if this is that story or not. But the guy was silent, and that like really like threw her off, and she didn't like that. What silent during it, the the hoo ha? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it, like, did she have? Like, were her parents there? I don't did she have an alone house? Because if her parents were there, I don't fucking blame them. I wouldn't be trying to get killed. <laughs> I don't know. I don't... I'm not... I didn't ask every question. I was pretty... I'm not like... Yeah, I'm not around. like arguing with you. I'm arguing with her. Okay. <laughs> I'll ask her. <laughs> That's her right now. <laughs> Brett wants to know... Remember that Tech sex story you told me? I started talking to Brett about it. <laughs> what? What am I doing? <laughs> I clicked the triangle to do web wings. Thanks, Spider-Man. I didn't see that once. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> Text Reagan um, again. Ask her if she's if the cat got her tone. Still, <laughs> all this time later. Bethany can't even piece this story together because of how many fucking pauses we're taking. <laughs> Okay. I feel like it's peaceable the other Guy, so guy next, at her home for sex. She puts on Fight Club. It's her favorite movie. Everyone guy knows said. that's what's gonna happen, too. Yeah. Like, like beforehand. that's like. She puts on Fight Club with that. It's a in Netflix and chill session. Yeah. Um. And so she puts that on. And, um. He's being, like, quiet. And she feels awkward and uncomfortable. And, like. A see. The. Apparently, it was her. I don't remember the exact line. I feel like if I watch, actually, I watched the movie like, like, like six months after, and I heard the line, and I was like, "That's the line." But I don't, I can't think of it like off the top of my head. So if I saw the movie, I'd know it. Okay, but, but what um, was it like? It was something like, uh, "I'm fucking Vinny. Who the fuck are you?" And that's her favorite line. That was coming up. She knew it. It's her favorite movie, and then. 
she just said it. <laughs> <laughs> like, she just said the... And then the guy was like, what? <laughs> that's so cr- imagine being the dude. Like, that's what I said, yeah. I, I, I would be embarrassed, imagine being the dude. Like, trying to- trying to pleasure a woman. And- and she's- she's so, like, to me, that seems like she's bored. Like, if she goes- if she- even if I knew what was happening, he didn't know, but if she quotes the movie, I'd be like, oh. <laughs> so you're not really liking it, are you? But <laughs> imagine, um, imagine that was you, and then the person you're having sex with goes, I'm fucking Vinny, who the fuck are you? And you're like, it instantly, boner killer. <laughs> I saw, even, like, I feel like, I feel like you can pick up on this, having not seen the movie. It's a, it, the line is like that. That's a crazy favorite line. <laughs> this movie is like a crazy, dark, comedy, like weird movie, and your favorite line is that? <laughs> My favorite line is <laughs> in Spider-Man is, hey, I'm Peter Parker. I'm Peter Parker, <laughs> <laughs> I'm Peter Parker. who the fuck are you? <laughs> But, um, um, Tiffany, are you still here? Are yeah, you that's... listening? <laughs> <laughs> that's the story. I don't, I think she might not even be watching. Cause she said, can you re repeat the story? And then I, she might have clicked off of it. Either way, I feel like the second telling was more enjoyable, so I'm glad we did it. <laughs> it was like an instant remake with more stuff <laughs> yeah <laughs> and the the fact it was more entertaining is because we were pretending we were talking to somebody which is exactly why we need a youtube channel we need this stream yeah you gotta finish this game so we can do cup yeah all right she's been watching she's just been trying to get split screen to work She didn't hear any of the story. No, she's How the fuck? Laugh. Okay. So I'm gonna do... I'm gonna do this wing story. This wing mission, and then I think it's time! I think it's time! To finish the game! I'm so hyped. I'm so fucking hyped. I'm so fucking hyped. I'm so freaking hyped. I'm so hyped. What the fuck? The thing that, like, caught me off guard, like, when I started retelling the story, was, um, I just, for some reason, had the thought of, like, I never remember stories, and this is one, like, I don't remember my stories. This isn't even my story. Well, yeah, I, I remember other people's stories, but it's my own. I think I, I, I thought of it like just now because I was thinking about that the other day because I was thinking like 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 I there the two streamers that I watch Jerma and Pay Money Lovey I've seen both of them get like tell this story I wouldn't be able to do it I would not I could, like, like, one in every eight stories, that's, that's, I don't know why I said that number. What the fuck? It, I'm gonna lose. I don't know if you can. Yeah, there's no time on there, actually. But, I mean, I guess it might be able the to The venom is making away. it hard in this area. But yeah, like, I... 
What I I realized the thing is, I, what I do. Up, you I vividly remember stories at random moments, and then like I'll completely forget them. But it sounds like it's about to get away. Too much drag outside the slipstream. Yeah, it can get um, away. Ninety percent. Oh yeah. I never noticed that. Looks well, yeah, because you probably never lost it. Yeah, but I'm sure <laughs> I've gotten to the point to where it like set it before. I, I've, I've, I lost it because I fucking ran into the venom like five times. Um. Like I will go through my life. Hold on. What? According to the data, this person died two years ago. Probably just an error. Still more eyes in the skies. Can't I'll go Craven's through my life around. and like get a new story to tell people. I'll tell the like five to twenty important. Why are you pausing? I'm guessing that for me. Okay. I thought you were doing like the cutscene thing you do, so I can finish talking. No. Um. Um. Yeah, I'll, like, tell the 5 to 20 people that matter to me my new story, like, that I think is funny. And I'm number two on that list, right? You might, you're pretty, you're number one. And then... I like, thought it was Reagan. Did I overtake I, her? Yeah. It, um, it was Reagan because I, I stopped talking to you for, like, a full year. <laughs> <laughs> like, you would text me and I would respond, like, three months later. <laughs> like it was literally just during the school year I would forget to talk to you. You still <laughs> like get on parties and go to the movies too. Yeah. Um But um I'll tell those people and then it's gone. I the story's gone. <laughs> it's do you remember the story I had about my birthday going to a place called Crazy Jim's Blimpy Burgers? Crazy Jim's Blimpy Burgers? I think you did tell me this story. Yeah, yeah I, for I, I forget. I know I did. I forget what the story was. I remember it wasn't like the guy there rude or something and you thought he was awesome. Like, wasn't that yeah, the story? I remember you thought the we... service was awesome because the dude was, like, fucking screaming at customers and shit? No, that's not... He wasn't, like, screaming at customers. He wasn't even that rude to us. Because we, like... Because I remember... I remember you then told me this we story. we went on Google reviews. Yeah! And we saw, like, all the reviews. Yeah, and just, then... like, he's like a dick and then we went on the reviews together and that's what i saw is that he was super rude and that was awesome i love <laughs> um i don't remember the story what when i at when that happened i had a class with um aiden campbell and noah marsh and like when I have a class with Aiden Campbell, he's the only person in the class that I can like, that I'm like, okay, I'll talk to Aiden Campbell. And no He was Marsh, the guy I had the accidental gay relationship with, right? Yeah, that's what you said. Yeah. Um, I Noah still, Marsh, that, that's probably one of my craziest stories of my whole life. <laughs> it's gotta be fucking up there. And Noah Marsh, like, just was, in the group like it was me aiden and noah and um like i think that was um junior year and then senior year one day in the hallway noah just told me like his favorite story i've told him is the crazy jim's blimpy burgers and since then it's obvious it's, i haven't been thinking about it non-stop but since then, I've been trying to remember the story. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember what the story was specifically. <laughs> I can't. I don't remember it. Yeah, I don't remember I, it 
I I vividly remember reading the Google. Gotta get enough data. I don't remember the story though. Bethany's freaking out because of the gay relationship thing. I told you the story, <laughs> Bethany. Like, I, I, I actually, I've told you this before. I can go over it really quickly because I don't, it's, it's a long story if I get the specifics. I'm just gonna try to dumb it down. Um, so in seventh grade, I think, seventh grade gym, Aiden Campbell was in my gym class and there were these girls and, um, I, like, for some reason they went up to us one day and they're like, cause me and Aiden like kinda talked, like we were like kinda friends at that point, and they're like, dude, we totally shipped you two. And Aiden was like, yeah, or whatever, like he like agreed or some shit, and I had no idea what the fuck that meant. I, I genuinely did not know. So I'm like, yeah, we're in a ship together, I'm the captain. <laughs> and, <laughs> And for like, this went on you just for told like, them you're on top. like literally, I told him, yeah, he's the twink, I'm the bear. That's what I said. And is it, is it twink from Good Mythical Morning? Or the twink from Good Mythical Morning. And, and I, that went on for like a month. They kept saying like, you two are in a ship together. And I'm like, yeah, captain. And then he would be like, he would refer to me like as captain. As if like I was his master. It was fucking like looking back at it with hindsight it was fucking crazy it's too hot. <laughs> but like he was like i was like dominating him i was his captain and we were in a ship together and like he started talking to me a lot more and i didn't think anything of it like i'm just like okay like yeah we're friends but i i genuinely think he might have thought like i agreed to dating <laughs> Like, this seriously went on for way too long. I don't long. think he's gay. I think he was bi, uh, maybe in middle school. Maybe. I don't know. Because he's a theater kid, especially, and it went on for like a <laughs> month, and I just kept... I kept going with it. And then eventually, I remember the breaking point. <laughs> I accidentally, like, broke his glasses. Like, I elbowed him in the face on accident during a gym game, and he got mad at me, and he, like, stopped talking to me. Like, he still talks to me sometimes, but, like, our relationship started fading. <laughs> yeah, that's that's probably my goofiest story of my whole life. Dude, he got, like, he got mad about, like, such little shit. What do you mean? Oh, Aiden? Yeah. I can't think mean? of an example. I can't think of an example, but I know he did. Um... Well, maybe I told my other girlfriend. Maybe that's why you don't remember it. <laughs> I... My dad used to That's a joke! Like a, my dad used to have, like, a joke about, like, that joke with my mom. Like, what he'd joke? just say... Like, that one. Like, he just The one say, I just like, did. Yeah, like, my other girlfriend, Ian's other mom, like, like, things like that. <laughs> and one day, I just, I, I was like, like, eight, and I just decided to get on, in on it, and my mom was like, where'd you get that? And I was like, my other mom, and she <laughs> freaked out. <laughs> she, like, did she think you were too innocent to, like, do the joke? So, like, there yeah. was actually another woman. <laughs> yes. So you got your dad, like, screamed at? <laughs> or did you tell her before she was able to freak out on him that it, you were joking? I don't fully remember it, so I don't know. You're- I would have been pissed at you if I was your dad. He started it. I'm trying to bond with him. Don't, like... I would still be pissed. I would beat you. <laughs> <laughs> See, I do I... like this, I, this like, I, idea. You go, actually, because this is something completely unrelated. I, I just don't know. He He's fucking doing it again. Why does he do that?
Look at this. I'm in the exit. Like, uh, it's not the photo camera. Like, he's just doing that. Okay. Uh, no, he's still doing it. There he goes. Why does he do that? Um, anyways. Uh, I was gonna say, I don't know if I want to do these windsuit missions while there's venom. <laughs> I should, I should start the mission soon. I'll do it as soon as we start, stop, like, telling stories. Okay. Um. Oh, I, this was also one of my favorites. That one's cool. Um, I was thinking, uh, like, I don't, forget I was thinking. That's a bad setup, and I forgot what I was going to say, so I just started talking, hoping I'd get there. Forget that. Forget I said that. Um, I really like the idea of us, like, like, what's happening? Like, us just streaming to one person that's like, what? What's the story? <laughs> <laughs> like, if we could just constantly just have, like, 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 ten people that are like, what are you talking about? Dude, you gotta explain that. Dude, it, it would actually be so fun. I don't know, if we stream for long enough, it's bound to happen. It'd be... Because I fucking did it with Brett Elsie when I was like 10 years old. Yeah. But it would be so fun to get a couple regulars. Like, I'm excited and... for if that happens. Yeah. And we're gonna be doing it on Twitch. So, it's like more streamer like. Yeah. People are going more popular for streamer. Money gets split 50 /50. Well, yeah, Bethany, you'll be one of the people, but you never text in the chat. <laughs> you just text me personally. <laughs> That's gonna be crazy for any. The people are gonna think we're making stuff up. You're making stuff up. You were not a regular, Bethany. And that's the thing, if you were a regular at, at Rhett Elsie, I didn't fucking know, because you never commented. You're not a regular if I don't know you exist. <laughs> Yeah, Brett El Bethany, Brett Elsie was before your time. Yeah, Brett Elsie was far, far more... I don't even know what this sentence was going. Why is the fun size never that was Brett way Elsie before you. Was, was Brett Elsie Brett was, like, was my first, first love. two years of middle school. <laughs> Mama Bird is about to be very angry. And like Bethany, you've admitted that you like clicked on my videos once or twice, but you were not watching my li live streams. Don't kid yourself. Like, you don't have to lie to make it cute. Like I was, I was your fan since the beginning. Nobody was watching that. I had, I had Blacklight was one of my regulars, and I had this one guy who he was either very young or English was not his first language. Um. I forget what his name was. I, I think I still have him friended on PlayStation. Was it that guy or was it Blacklight that we tried to play with? We tried to play with Blacklight. Him. Okay, and like he had the like okay, loud really fan. Hurt. Yeah, we tried playing Blacklight with Blacklight. We wanted to meet him on his home turf, I guess. I think he might have been a Blacklight fan. Because he was really <laughs> into it. Or just like, like a ten-year-old who couldn't afford Call of Duty and wanted to play a game like that. <laughs> Whatever. Bethany, don't don't take it personally. I'm, Bethany, I was we're joking. In the I was in the Brett LC no YouTube, data. and I didn't watch There's any no record of this person anyway. <laughs> I'm not like, I'm not like holding it against you or mad at you that you didn't like watch my live streams. They were fucking boring. <laughs> I know you watched my YouTube channel every now and then, but like, did you watch my Just Cause series? Like, did you watch my Battlefront series? Like. Did you watch his Spider-Man tutorial? <laughs> Did you watch my How to Make Spider-Man in DC Universe video? 
<laughs> Why are you saying sure? I'm not mad at you for <laughs> Bemini, I promise you I'm not I'm not kidding. <laughs> I'm not upset with you. In Bethany. the slightest for Bethany. not for not being a regular viewer of the Brett L C YouTube channel live streams. <laughs> Bethany, I don't want you to get confused. None I of my know friends him watch you do. He is fuming right now. You know He's him. <laughs> fuming. I've talked to him pretty much like every day since sixth grade. He is fuming right now. He is. <laughs> You He's about believe to go on a rampage. Just so you know, he got a 1.8 on his GPA and probably like a 300 SAT score, so you shouldn't listen to him. That's not even possible. What you, you get doing? more. You get more. I don't remember, but I know you get more points than that for putting your name down. Yeah, see, you you watch, you watch my guitar video and like probably my movie reviews. You had a guitar video. I had one video where I'm like I'm starting a Brett Elsie guitar tutorial channel, <laughs> and I don't even know what my fucking idea was because it was just gonna be me reteaching songs that I learned from other YouTubers who definitely would explain it better than me. I straight up just wanted to plagiarize their content. That's what being a YouTuber is all about. I mean, that's what I did with my How to Make Spider-Man. Yeah. That, that was not my design. I, I literally, I remember making it. I, I had my phone open, watching the video on how to do it while I was explaining it. <laughs> The only thing I remember from that channel is... I, that's what I, I said! What? I, I said earlier that some of the music in this game kind of sounds like Stranger Things, and Bethany just said the same thing. I'm not crazy. Another example of plagiarism. She watched the streams. You've never seen Stranger Things. I know the theme. <laughs> I know the Stranger Things theme. It's in Dead by Daylight too. That's not how I know it. I just I've fucking listened to it before. But like it's the it's the chase music for uh Demogorgon. That's a good show, you should watch that. I want to watch season one. I've heard that everything after that is wildly inconsistent, but I, I'd be, I'd be season down for watching good. season one. Out of the three seasons that I've saw, seen, season two was my favorite. Season one was great, and then season three kind of sucked. Um, yeah, I've heard season three. Well, actually, I heard that... I forget. I've heard that season one is really good, and then it's either season three or season four, I heard was, like, not as good on, like, a technical level, like, objective level, but it's still, like, entertaining and, like, better than the other seasons. I did see a segment of season four. And that one, uh, you know, like how I learn things. It's purely entertainment. Ah! Season four is better than season three, from what I've seen. Yeah, I'd definitely be down like, to watch the first season. But that's another show where I'm, I'm, I'm tempted to stay as far away from possible as it. From it because of the fan base. That's what another shit. What do you think is gonna I just do don't like the fan base. Like I, I like. So I just, don't talk to people about I it. I know. I know. Obviously, I can watch the show from its own enjoyment. But like, 
when something has an annoying you think you're gonna Listen! become one of them? No! I don't Are think I'm scared? gonna I don't think I'm I don't think I'm gonna get fucking like infected with a plague and I don't think I'm gonna start talking to those people. But when when something has a very annoying fan base, it just puts a bad taste in my mouth. It, it does, and I like don't want to watch the thing as bad because That's everybody who watches it is annoying. The the it, I don't. I really don't think it it's is. All the same person. Like, but, like for, honor. for honor. Okay. Officially creeped out. That game just sucks. I need to solve this. I I like that game in bursts, bursts, but the Burst. thing that keeps um spurts or bursts, either of them work. Um. I kind of did an in-betweener the first time. Yeah, you said the first. Um, but the thing that keeps me away from that game is the community. Everybody who plays it fucking sucks. And, like, I don't want to be a part of that. It's the same thing with shows. Like, if there's a super annoying fucking fan base, I, I, I won't want to in indulge myself in that content, even if it's not the content's fault. Like That's I watched, crazy. I watched The Last of Us because I loved the game. But if I was just basing, if I did not play the game, and all I saw was fucking Pedro Pascal thirst traps from the fan base, I wouldn't watch it. I'd be like, that looks fucking stupid. The fan base is retarded, and <laughs> I wouldn't watch it <laughs> because like if the fan base is annoying, like I don't know. I'd... I was a little hesitant to start Mandalorian because of Baby Yoda. Wait, but... hold on. I can understand the Last of Us one because that that was definitely a big show. That that wasn't. That's not like the biggest show. It was the biggest show when it came out. Everybody was when it came about out. It. That I wouldn't say that was the biggest show of the year or anything. I'm sure when season that's... two drops, it's also going to be very. Popular. It's going to be huge, but. Stranger Things was like the biggest thing to happen, the biggest show to come out that year. And like, Bethany, I'm not everyone saying... talked about it. Bethany, I'm not everyone saying. Talked, Wait, everyone hold on. Enjoyed it. I, I have to, Hopefully I have to dispute this, Bethany. I'm you not saying you are annoying because you watch Stranger Things. I'm saying that in general, the Stranger Things fan base is weird. There are outliers, but like. The the loudest, the loudest of You're the fans are the annoying. The loud minority. On the vocal minority. Definitely. Yeah, but that's who that's who is representing the show. Like the vocal minority are the people talking about the show, and those are the annoying. Ones. Everyone talked about the Last of Us when it came out, though. Yeah, but the only posts you saw online were from people. annoying people. No, I saw. I think fan bases are important it. to the life of this product. And I'm not saying Stranger Things mean? is bad. I don't understand what you I'm not you saying Stranger Things is bad. Stranger Things can be amazing. Well, I, you cut it's me really off good. before I said this. I was hesitant to watch Mandalorian because of the whole, the whole baby of this shit. But I did anyways. I fucking love that show. Mandalorian is phenomenal. Like, I, I, That's I'm not... That's why I'm saying you have to power through that. But I don't think I'm in the, to, like, I, I'm not alone. Get over that. I'm not alone in this state of mind. I don't. I don't think that really matters. If you're alone or not, it's something you gotta like. It's something that is like purely negatively affecting you. And that's the last one. Not too talented, if you ask me. Like, all the people telling me to watch Stranger Things on, on the internet. A relay signal? Not, like, personal friends. But, like, if you go on the internet and you see the people, like, advertising a show, being like, Oh, this show is so awesome. It's fucking, like, thirst traps of teenagers. And, like, oh my god, this dude is so cute. Like, or, like, oh, I scan these two characters. They're meant for each other. I, I hate that bullshit. I hate it so much. I understand that now and like 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 even like 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 when the next season comes out i can understand seeing only that like logically 
but season when season one came out, it was everybody talking about. Yeah, I, 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 I'm not talking about season one. I, I I'm talking about now because that's I, the I, season you want to watch. Well, yeah, but I didn't jump on that train, so now people talk about season one with that attitude. Yeah, but you know the initial attitude too. You know the love that people had for that show. The the general population had for that and show. I, I get what you're saying. You get what I'm saying. I still want to watch the show. I'm just... This started by me saying like, Oh yeah, I didn't watch it up until now because of this. It, it's not like I'm never watching the show. <laughs> like, it was just like... Yeah, I wanted to watch it, but I, I was just hesitant because of this. Like, this conversation started with me outright saying, like, yeah, I really want to watch season one. <laughs> it's a little past hesitant now. It's well, I have other shit like to do. This, this is just me being lazy, and I don't, like, this is, it's not me being hesitant anymore. I just, I haven't started fucking Breaking Bad. I want to watch Breaking Bad so bad, but I just, I'm lazy. <laughs> it has nothing to do with this show. It's not worth it. I w I'm gonna watch Breaking Bad at some point. I, I, it's I getting would. removed. I, I would, and I'm going to. It's getting removed from Netflix at think. some point. You know, fuck off. <laughs> I'm going to. I don't care. Um, it's probably gonna go to Max. I, they just have a, they have a bunch of AMC shows now. Okay, after I do this, I, I just finish this entire storyline because we've been talking so long. I am doing I'm doing the last mission after this. It's fucking 1.30. And I'm assuming this mission's gonna be long. Although my morning class got cancelled tomorrow, so I'm good to stay up for a bit. My first class is at 3 p.m., so like I can I can sleep in tomorrow. But I still, I want to have this done before They're fucking 3 o'clock so we can watch YouTube together or something. I didn't pay attention. What's happening? I watched a Game Ranks video that, uh, like, 10 things Spider Man 2 doesn't tell you. It was all so stupid. Those videos are always stupid. <laughs> I. I trust Game Ranks though, so. I, I like Game Ranks more than I do. Like, when I. When I want to watch a game review by like one of the big companies since they do like going near every game, it's always game. Like, yeah, I, I, I definitely like them way more, but I should check inside. Those types I, of videos are always like dumb. I <laughs> no matter I, who makes usually, it. Usually usually like when it's like a like something I trust, there's like one or two Hello? like Shit. no way. You can do that? That's awesome. Who's there? But there wasn't. Yeah. There was. There was nothing. You think I'm Craven? Look behind you. No, I was looking at the reflection. <laughs> I okay. was. I'm like, is this a mirror or a, a see-through glass? And it's like both, because this table's here, and you can see like that painting. <laughs> I thought you were like, it's crazy that I'm, why, why am I not seeing this over there? <laughs> um, yeah, but I, I like game ranks because they seem a lot less, like, biased than IGN. IGN's like a studio and game ranks is like fans. Yeah. Like IGN tries to be... Like very, it's weird. They try to be very um, objective with their reviews, 
but there's also a very obvious amount of bias, so the rating gets all skewed, and game ranks, they do a good job of no matter what the game is, they they list the things they love, and they list, like, just so you know, these are kind of weird, and they're in the game, and then yeah. it seems like there's more passion behind it, and they're they're much more honest with their reviews. It's like Disney versus A24. Yeah, they're much more honest while being less biased. <laughs> it's it's weird. They're just they're better in every way, basically. And it's also there's like I've every game ranks video I've seen is mm. one of two this people. Games nearly done. IGN, I don't think I've seen a review with with what? someone I've seen a review from. Was there like a wrong answer there? Did I accidentally move the right on? There's a wrong answer, but it doesn't do anything. If you just move the piece back, like oh that one wasn't right. Well boom, I'm a chess master, checkmate immediately. I'm gonna die down there, aren't I? Do you know the story at all that's happened? Are these all the people he was hunting? This... The, so, you, what's happened so far is you... You went on... You, that whole journey, you were looking for the people that Craven was hunting. Yeah, and I knew from, that. From, okay, from what you could tell, they were just random civilians, right? Uh-huh. And as you went on, you like started noticing weird little things about them. And the first one, F, the first one, the like third guy died already. The after that, the guy after him died even longer ago. And then I think the next one, you found out like all of these people they were never have born. the same DNA. And then the next one, you went to the place you went to the next thing and you found out where the base was and now you're there and this guy is like this guy has a like pre-recorded recorded setup like talking to you and now you're what going the... through it is that my mask wait is this the chameleon's apartment i thought we put him away years ago when i fled Borgora, i never thought like a place to but I am happy. Oh, so Craven was hunting the chameleon. Yeah. Why? Why? <laughs> that's not an equal that's gonna take you down in battle. Right. Looks like he graduated too. This tech is insane. Craven's drone snapped a photo of him mid-transformation. I knew something was off about Craven's target. More secrets. Okay, maybe. <laughs> Building schematics and hunter logs? The chameleon was keeping tabs on Craven, too. All right, once again. Yeah, I just texted you this, Bethany, but, like, if, if you have a 10 a.m. class, if you're tired, you can, you can always just the missing persons database. re-watch the video <laughs> tomorrow if you want to see the ending of the game. What did the chameleon do to them? I'm not holding my controller. Okay. So there you go. There were brothers. Who were brothers? Craven and Chameleon? Yeah. Okay, I, I seriously have not been paying attention, but that's crazy. They, they just said that. So why was he hunting Chameleon? 
Was he just trying he to find him. him? Oh, he wanted to kill him? Or be killed. That's crazy. Did he find him? No. Chameleon. Oh, he's right there. <laughs> that gives me he looks like vibes. a lizard. Like the Batman. Don't worry, lizard. brother. Yeah. I will do what you could not. <laughs> so he's gonna be a Did villain you... now? <laughs> he takes over. Chameleon the chameleon is gonna kill me. Oh, I'm so scared. You'll never <laughs> see him coming. I'm gonna keep an eye out in case he shows up again. Not gonna um, be happy about so this. Craven hated Chameleon, but now Chameleon is gonna like avenge his brother? Well, Chameleon's also a bad guy in Spider-Man, so he's he just probably wants just Spider wants Spider-Man dead, Spider dead. Yeah. Also, I don't, I don't think Craven has to be dead for you to get there. Um, I was gonna say something. Uh, okay. Well, I think you might it's... have upgrades now. Yeah, I do. I'm gonna go get this photo. I think this is the last photo, at least that I've done. And then, okay, just to speed things up. And then we, I'm gonna do this. The last mission. Okay. I'll do it on the way back. Peter, go home! Go home! It's dangerous out! <laughs> Have you not seen? Why are you guys having a picnic right now? I was thinking from that guy's perspective, him like... Dude, yeah. I think it's a good one to close my submissions with. Oh, that was the last one. But I'm a bit surprised you're stopping now since you left out two of the biggest parts of New York. The Spider-Man. I mean, I don't know if they're that big. And they are kind of controversial. Everything I see in these photos. <laughs> all the stories and the history. And Whenever life. I try to do something cool, I fail. But I always do it on accident. I hope they know that. I bet they have some idea. Well, thanks for the photos, Peter. That's you weird. Be better at this than you give yourself credit. I get I why. They... I. Thanks, Robbie. I get why, but that's weird. I did that, I did the final one as Miles, and Miles has different dialogue, but Robbie has the same dialogue. <laughs> I'm glad I finished it as Peter, because that seems like a Peter side quest. Yeah, I, like, that's one that I feel like only Peter should be able to do. Miles isn't, I mean, I don't know the comics, I guess, but, like, Peter is the photographer. Miles does not do photography. Okay. Yeah, let's let's do our final level ups and then let's get this shit done. I don't even. I'm just spending these blindly. I don't fucking care anymore. They'll help me subconsciously. What do I go with? How many do I have? Is the question. I have 21 rare tech parts. Where's Hero. Okay, they're all rare, rare tech. We're both suit tech. Can't do any of those. Don't like you can get any of those. So I have 21 rare tech parts. Mm, let's do that, because that's more stuff for me to spam if I need it. Um, so two more I can get. That's very useful just because of Venom. Sonic Burst is useful just for the Venom missions alone. Uh, yeah. You mean the last mission? Oh, oh and you, I'm, you're I'm out. done. I guess that one used eight. Oh no, it is these all cost. Not these ones need eight. Oh, this one I don't have enough tech parts. 
Oh, you must not have enough tech parts for any of them, then. I can just do, like, a crime. See? It just happened again! That you shit never keeps happening to me. The guys you were going to save are dead. <laughs> that has happened, like, 20 times, at least. I'll swing around for a little bit more and see if another one pops up. It will. That's... It didn't That's have, have a game like so much. It's not worth it. I just wanna... I'm too excited I have to do this. <laughs> Go through the window. <gasps> Get inside! Look at this house! Look at this street! Why are you just like walking around? They're going home, probably. Very just slowly. Mosey and, um... Central Park Reservoir. The water system. I'm not gonna lie. I I kind of killed the momentum of the story because <laughs> because everything was ramping up and up and up and it's like holy shit the world's ending and then I just did like and then you went to bed missions first not even that bed. like if I just went to bed I'd be fine with that because it still feels like oh Peter went and did this immediately the character but Peter just went and did like a hundred side quests and just I feel like it'll. Out. I feel like you'll get into it pretty quickly. Yeah. That's how I, I, I was it. I was just so hyped. So hyped. Like <laughs> going into this and now it's like, yeah, this is the last mission. <laughs> but like before yeah, but, like but we had movie. awesome conversations. Yeah. Everywhere. Adding more and more people to the hive mind. Here, the googly eyes really heading. threw me off. Goodbye, <laughs> Hello, Planet Goo. The meteorite is the source of all the power, right? Creating goo, creating symbiotes. But it was useless until Harry repaired it. Yeah. And that particle accelerator is what damaged it in the first place. Cut off a piece at low power. Right, so what if we crank the power up? Like way past 11. Might destroy it. And free everyone connected to the hive mind. Theoretically. But that reservoir's gotta be mobbed with symbiotes. And you know Harry's not gonna let that rock out of his sight. Unless he sees something he wants more. I do like MJ's face better. Me. <laughs> Just <laughs> for illustrative purposes. Like, with, with Spider-Man's, I still like... There's pros and cons for both of them. I like them both. But, um... I think MJ's is just, like, better. <laughs> like, uh, I'm good that they changed her Harry's face. still Harry. I don't have a preference for MJ. I prefer Harry, uh, Peter Goldblum. complete without his best friend beside him. I can lead Harry away from the meteorite. I keep pausing this, but Peter's old face would go better with this MJ, because they both look older. Like this MJ kind of yeah, looks a bit older than this Peter. And I can handle all the symbiotes. Well, I. Grab the space rock for illustrative purposes. All right, fire up the accelerator. No more hive mind. World saved. We all get churros? Theoretically. <laughs> Pete, what Connor said about Harry being too far gone. If you can't save him, are you? Won't come to that. You two will be able to. That's a good question, though. though. Let's heal the world. Yeah, I feel like time. in most, like, movies, the person would be like, but what if it does? And not just accept that? Like, that is a good question. If it comes to that, you have to kill him. So the in your Spider-Man, you should understand that. You have to save the world over yeah. one person. You've learned that lesson in the last Spider Man doesn't kill. Well, it, he doesn't kill, but this is literally like, at this point, if Dr. Connors is right, Harry is completely fused with an alien who's trying to destroy the world. Like, Dr. It's, Connors now. It's justifiable here. But. 
just standing there. I think this is I the exception for the kill rule. No. Yes. <laughs> Look. He's Spider-Man. you both enough. For everything. Come on, bro. We're the spider team. Don't anyone forget it? MJ was only sit in roped in to being called the Spider Team because she was there. If that was literally anyone else, me, they would also be the Spider Team. Like we always wanted. Okay, I'm obviously playing as Miles right now, but I pray to God there is a chase sequence where I'm running away from Venom. That'd be so cool. I, I don't think there will be, but that would be so sick. Oh, no, I'm playing as MJ! Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> MJ now! Or, okay, this is just a cutscene. Cut Let me shut the fuck up. I am playing You wanted a story, Watson. What was that? Did it? No. There has to be a way in. Where? Am I supposed to crawl through that? Or does it want me to destroy something here? It wants you to shoot something. Oh. I was looking for pink. I was also trying to shoot that flare. It was a terrible spot for that. What did it just say? Sonic shots can be used for what? I think for destroying those. Okay, well that plan's over. What are you gonna do? I'm, Just hang on! I'm... Well, she has the gun. I'm gonna say it one more time. I'd like... I think... <laughs> I think these... I think these Mary Jane missions are a lot better than the last they one. Are they are a lot better. And also, there's a lot less of them. Yeah, there's only three the entire game. This is the third one. Yeah, no. I agree with you. I, I I don't know what the reviewer was talking about. These are I think these are actually I'm, I'm also pretty sure that the one that he really liked was the second one. Yeah, the one you that he liked. Yeah. The one where you run from Venom. Oh, I guess there's four if you're counting that. No, that's the second one. There's only three. No, there's four. Because there's there's the first one where um, you're stealthing around camp, and then mm -hmm. there's the second one where you're stealthing outside of the house, like when Peter gets woken up and like the guys are there to catch Peter, and you have to sneak out of the house. And then the third one is... I mean, the third one might be technically a part of the second one, but there's like a pretty long cutscene break in between. The third one is running away from Peter, and then the fourth one is this. In my brain. But yeah, these are a lot better, and a lot more spaced out. So, I, I like these. They're more fun. Uh, 
Like these missions are actually like fun. I kind of like them though. I still wouldn't like. I still wouldn't say they're great, but I, like, they're way they're, they're more pretty enjoyable. fun. Like I don't hate these sections anymore. Not good. I would if I wouldn't make a game around like this game, but I'm dead. I would. What, what was I supposed to do there? I thought it was telling me to run somewhere. Am I- I'm actually supposed to full combat? I would- I just wasn't expecting full combat in Mary Jane mission. I mean, you can probably get away with not shooting them, but I shot them. Did you not go full combat on the other one? I'm not leaving without that rock. No, I did self the whole time. Well, you like had to do still. She was so fragile, especially in like the camp. I, I like ran up, like everyone. I ran up to everyone and I shocked them. Well, yeah, I shocked people. You have no, to. No, I mean everyone though, and I did not care if they saw me before I did it. I, I. No, I, I played those as intended. <laughs> Spider Woman. Yeah, man. I mean, but like, I mean, a Mary Jane game where she's not like a Spider Woman <laughs> yeah. or a Spider Gwen or or a Spider Woman or Scream. Just the journalist dating Spider Woman. Run! Felt that one, but whatever. No, you couldn't. See, she's like, she, she's literally like two hit. Sometimes one hit. I don't know. That really bothers me. I don't. Know. Well, she's Maybe just a fragile know. woman. Like I, 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 I died at her before. I, mean, I did, I did too, but what I'm saying is sometimes she needs three hits, sometimes she needs two hits, sometimes she needs one hit, and two hits. I didn't know that. Nine out of ten times, you were gonna stop by those like... Oh my! She's dead! 
I forget she has a dodge button. Like after the Mary Jane thing, it cut to Miles. I was like, okay, so now I get to experience the exact same time frame as Miles. And then Mary Jane came running running out, and it was time to leave. You didn't do that combat at all. Well, I don't care. I think that would have been tedious. Pretty sure your just class one isn't machine. invited to our high school reunion, Harry. Ooh, Harry! surprising. <laughs> Oh, we're fighting in the basketball court? That's so cinematic. This is where we became best friends. Yeah, it is. And now it's where we become brothers. It's crazy that they weren't best friends before they snuck into high school together. That's so cool. Please! Remember everything we've been through! What I was hoping would happen... Shut up! Let <laughs> me enjoy the moment! Kicking our asses for four years. <laughs> we will be dead. I haven't played this yet. I wanna... I wanna... I wanna do it. Am I, am I just supposed to be waiting? See, this is so cool. He has like different parts of the football field. What? <laughs> Where? Where is he? I've missed time like 10 turns in a row. <laughs> Not doing good with the parries.
That's so cool. He's like us. Ursula. Things, bro. All right, it's it's time to spam everything. Oh! Get free, Harry, with more anti venom. I need to move. I'm coming, Harry. This game's awesome. We know what's best I don't know if you knew this. For I've like, been on this side. You everything you ever wanted, and you threw us away. I should have been better. I'm so sorry. Pretty much since fighting and got venom powers. You us with miles. You poisoned you against us even more. No! He saved me! Just like I'll save you! We've never been good enough for you or Dad. It's messing with your head, Harry! You're my best friend! Then why don't you trust us? I trust you, Harry! Not that thing you're wearing! We are not a thing! For these guys? Alright, spam everything. Getting the hang of it now. Right when the phase is about to be over. <laughs> What were, you what were you saying? I was hoping, <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping that what I thought was going to happen and what I thought was going to be so cool was that part, like, after they, like, they're like, you do this, you do this, I do this, blah, 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 blah. Um, 
it was going to put you in each, like, character as they did it, which would have been just cool, I thought. Like, like three vastly different gameplay things. One where you're Mary Jane shooting symbiotes. One where you're Miles, like, just fighting a horde. And one where you're... It's a boss fight. Peter, yeah. like... Like not not even not the boss fight, just like running away. Yeah, that'd be cool. And then it was all gonna like convolve into one thing. That's what I thought was gonna happen, and that's what I was like excited for. This was cool too, obviously, but that's what I thought it was gonna be. Yeah. Stuff. Yeah, well, they started it. <laughs> <laughs> where did her where did her helmet go? Let's get this thing Why the hell are you wearing it if it comes off that easy? So fucking cool. Tell him to do that, MJ. You just sent Miles to his death. <laughs> like, Miles, you go in there and deal with him. <laughs> oh, someone has to. Peter's unconscious and she's Mary Jane. <laughs> yeah, but I feel like Mary Jane should have. I feel like she was quick to say that if I was Mary Jane, I'd be like, dude. <laughs> Like, I know you're a teenager, I don't want to get you hurt. This thing is fun. this is literally like Satan. <laughs> this isn't even Venom anymore, this is Satan. And she's just fully comfortable telling Miles, like, go get in there, dude. <laughs> Gotta sacrifice one to save the city. <laughs> I mean... Respect on Miles for going in there without thinking about it. I'd even if I were Spider-Man, I'd be fucking running away right now. <laughs> Miles is so into doing this. He doesn't have anti venom like Peter. Especially this Spider-Man, because I assume we've seen all of his big bosses. I doubt there was one off-screen that we didn't get to see. Yeah. So he had, like, two. And both of them were his family. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna let Pete down, Harry. Well, and like the that's not, I wouldn't, that's, I, I wouldn't put that in the same room as any of the other people we've seen in fight. This is just fucking crazy powerful. 
It is ridiculous. Peter doesn't need you anymore. He has us now. I thought he was gonna bite her head off. <laughs> Imagine. No shaft. Yeah, he's like trying to talk to us and get out of there. Like, you know how selfish you're being, right? <laughs> look him away. What the hell are you talking about? No, you're being kind of evil. You're not saying this in the correct this way. This isn't cool, man. No, no, you're looking at the ball wrong. Invisibility doesn't work on them. Actually, I think it did. I just second. I'm dead. I'm not sure if the web's doing anything. So man. Oh, you're building. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm dead again. It wasn't even close to him. <laughs> Shoot. You killed him too. Did oh, I? Never mind. No, never mind. I, I thought of the the bar in reverse. I was thinking of the yellow as the health and the red as the depleted health. What the hell are you talking about? I'm on my game this time, boys. That won't happen. We remember what you did. Not you! They're jealous. That's why they pushed us apart. Maybe I was. But Pete wasn't Pete. <laughs> you literally shake your head. You think you're better than us. Don't Start spamming you. everything. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Doesn't matter if you like me or not. I'm here for you. Need to get up to him. You can't see it now. We're not so different, man. I can carry those. The symbiote doesn't care about you. Oh,
shoot. No. Oh, I healed. I'm fine. Oh, you can't. You can't parry midair attacks. Okay, cool. I was worried he was about to, like, come back at you. I think it's funny. I think it. I think it works. It's Spider-Man. It, it can be kind of corny. I thought that was cool. The alley oop. I thought was so stupid. I liked it. it was a callback. I don't care. It's because you don't understand it. Because you don't watch the sports. Okay. <laughs> Give me back my friend. We are your friend. What's happening? Just hang on, buddy. Please, no. Leave him. So hard. <laughs> I'm just helping. You ready to finish this? So cool. We're in business! 
What? I can say that. <laughs> Forget Harry. MJ just got blasted into a wall. I like that. That really makes me wonder how they're gonna explore that. We did it. Yeah. I assume it would just be a separate story. Like, probably not even in this universe. Yeah, I could be. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's sad. Some room. <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna work, but I gotta try. You are having a different reaction than I did. It's cool. I don't care. It's just, it's just Spider-Man moment. I'm not I like it. complaining. I'm not, I'm not like my reaction was correct. And you're crazy for not feeling the way I felt. I liked it because I... I'm just pointing out that you're having a different reaction than I did. I, I wanted, I I wanted Spider-Man to have a tough Spider-Man decision. Like he did in the first game. And he did. And I like that. They did undo it, but in a way mind. that I think pays off. I, I, I don't mind that Miles revives him. Peter still had to make that hard decision. He still killed Harry. That whole thing, just not him killing Harry, just him being revived, that whole thing bothered me. I don't think it would have, but it did because... Miles was, like, in focus, just standing in the background, and I instantly knew what was going to happen. Yeah, but I don't care. It, that I, I don't know. Me. It's Spider-Man to me. Like, it's supposed to be, like... It doesn't have to be subtle. I like it. I'm, I'm geeking out. I, I love this. 
like the second I saw Miles just standing five feet back, I knew what was gonna happen too. As soon, like as soon as it like as soon as it like showed his face, I got like goosebumps because I knew what was gonna happen. It was cool. I like that. It bothered me. I didn't like that. Like I like that. I I could see it coming. It like gave me goosebumps. I'm like, oh my god, this is about to happen. Then his hand got sparky. I'm like, oh. Pulse is weak. We gotta move. What have you done? What have you done to him? I'm so sorry. I'm coming with you. Wait. You're a fucking idiot, Norman. I don't think you can blame him. I can blame him. He's still alive. There are traces of brain activity, but you think he'd be completely fine after he was just slow. fucking venom, and I did get him out of there. Just keep him alive. It's like his last. It's like the last person he loves that's still alive. Yeah, Spider-Man did can, everything to keep him alive. I okay, shut up, shut up. I don't care. I think it's reasonable to have a reaction. Get the G serum ready. Oh, ASAP. Isn't that that's Green Goblin, right? He's that's... wearing green right now. <laughs> yeah. I didn't notice that. For the last few years, tragedy has tried to tear the city apart. It's possible. But we somehow kept going. We battled sickness, evil. Cataclysm. We are tired, anxious, stressed, numb. But we have never lost hope. The city needs to heal. We're all ready to return to normal, but what is normal? What if it no longer exists? Over the last half hour, I've talked about how these events have changed me. But what about you? In this ongoing series, I will be talking with people throughout the city, exploring our new behaviors, new routines, new thoughts and feelings. I hope you'll join me on this journey. This has been Mary Jane Watson, and you're listening to The New Normal. You didn't even stop recording. Yeah, I was gonna say your recording's still going. What the fuck is that? <laughs> is that that's supposed to be a pancake, but it looks like a biscuit. I think it's a wheat cake. In a minute, I want to show you something first. Okay. It has molasses in it. Yeah, I'm Because that's that. what she was asking about. She was asking what Everybody in this building knows who Flapjack. both the spider men are, and that's crazy. <laughs> that's Thanks again for the donation, Peter. Hey, is it that? Who is that? No, that's just a random lady. I thought it was the same girl who was in like Miles Morales. And the first Spider Man, the one who keeps recurring. You know this kinda of weird about like the people in his house right now? I don't care. Talk about me in a minute.
Have you talked to Miles about? Not. Yet. Is he retiring? <laughs> You ready? Uh, Miles. I've been meaning to talk to you uh, about something. Uh, I mean, I have been talking to you there all, all the time. It's, it's, it's great uh, to talk. So many good talks. Uh, I just haven't been talking to you about what I should have been talking to you about. Pete. Uh, wait, uh, let me start again. I got this. All of it. I was gonna say me and MJ are getting Call married. Me Peter Parker for it. <laughs> are you are you sure it's it's a big city? I can handle it. As long as I can still call you for advice. You don't need it. <sighs> Maybe not now, but there'll come a time. I'm here for you. Always. Bro. Gay Spider-Man. So are they just gonna trade now? Like when one person wants to... They're gonna take leaves. Like, I'll do 2023, you do 2024. <laughs> yeah, until one of them's 35. <laughs> and the other one's like 24. Gameplay-wise, and cinematically, the ending was awesome. I didn't like it story-wise at all, though. I liked it. I think it wraps up a little too quickly, but I, 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 liked how it, I liked how it ended. Um, but what are you going to say about the people in his house? Um, he's... one of them was his girlfriend, who... Instantly, that kind of, I didn't think about this the first time, but that kind of bothers me because there's a house full of guests in her house, like it's officially her house, and she's recording an hour long podcast. <laughs> that, that's a, that like, and it's not like a scheduling conflict, it's her podcast that she does a lot. <laughs> She could just do it later that day. Yeah. But the thing I was gonna say, the thing I was gonna say, so, it, okay, it's Peter's house, right? So he has his girlfriend there, that makes sense to me, and he has Miles there. That also, like, really makes sense to me, because those are, that, that's his girlfriend and the other Spider-Man, who he's probably bonded with the most in recent years. And then he has Black Spider-Man's two friends, and Black Spider-Man's mom. <laughs> Which also, like, it still makes sense, because it's all, like, one yeah, spider makes, but it's I was kind gonna of, say, that makes like, sense. It's still kind of, like... Like, he, like, the people he invited for breakfast are three, are two close friends, and one of that close friend's family and friends. <laughs> I thought I thought the Green Goblin thing was cool, but I'd also like the like the Harry being revived thing. I thought it was a little more on the nose than it had to be. I didn't think it needed to be so spelled out. I, I didn't mind. Uh... <laughs> Picture! Picture! <laughs> that was really also, good. I loved that. Not the ending, but another thing. Like, it is the ending, but it's not the last one. 
another thing that actually like really bothers me still and I think carried over and it's it's probably it probably is part of the reason I'm annoyed with everything else it's just like I just held on to it I guess it, Miles Morales new suit it's at such a bad time <laughs> like it's such I, a... I agree it's a weird point but I didn't mind it in the last mission I, I thought it looked fine the existence of and I guess it makes more sense now to me. I now that I know how this game ends, I think I understand why they put it there. Because it's supposed to be like Miles found himself. He's ready to take on his own identity. So now Peter is comfortable with leaving the city to him. It doesn't seem like he's learning anymore. Peter also found himself. He realized what he wanted to do. Yeah. So I kind of, I don't mind the new suit drop as much anymore, now that I know, like, what purpose it serves, and it was with this fucking random... Oh, well, that was awesome. What? He switched from Kraven holding Scorpion to Venom holding Kraven. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> that, that was crazy. When that happened, when he grew wings. Oh, it's awesome. What I thought was happening was it was like the fight just got like like it turned into like a like I have to hit the things on his back now, and then he flew up. <laughs> All right, okay. post credit shut scene. Up. Shut up! Shut I know. up! I know. You shut up! Shut You're up. the one shut talking. Up. Shut up! Shut up! I will fucking mute you. Shut up! Shut <laughs> How did he get? Is that that guy? How the? F Why what the fuck does he want? have him? Where is he it at Raft? The Spider Man. He's at Raft. You know who they are. I like how he's still wearing green. Why? They ruined my son. Good. We all have to experience loss. Even you, Norman. <laughs> what are you writing? <laughs> the final chapter. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That's funny, but it's awesome. I love that. See, I don't mind it getting a little campy. <laughs> it's Spider-Man. I like I, it. But I don't... I, okay. I'm not... If the things that I complained about were in... I mean, some, like, obviously, like, the new suit doesn't fit as well. But, like... A lot of what I hated, if that was in like, like Tobey Maguire Spider-Man, I pr I think I would have thought it was awesome. But it's such a like I don't think it fits. I, don't I think like my it. I don't think what I complained about fits. And that I hated that. I <laughs> hated that. that I'm I love it. That was so awesome and funny. <laughs> but it, it was so. Funny. I was like, I at first I was like, oh, this is cool, Doc Ock, Doc Ock's awesome, I like Doc Ock, Green Goblin, I know he's gonna be Green Goblin, whatever, and then, and then he started talking. <laughs> there is another, 
Yeah. You can skip it. You don't have to watch it. You're hungry. I read the subtitle and I thought she was just gonna talk without right. signing. <laughs> I thought Why that was gonna be fucking Show hilarious. He worked so hard on it. <laughs> if I was Miles' mom, I would like mumble and not <laughs> sign language. <laughs> guy in Harlem probably seen him volunteering in the city helping out his city council mom and trying to live up to his hero dad She just yeah. noticed. <laughs> well, I think she means she he usually wears it under. I know. But that's the <laughs> first I I didn't think about that the first time I watched it. <laughs> and I like I laughed I I genuinely like burst out laughing. <laughs> She, she's like, what the fuck? She has <laughs> she like, what She's like, what? <laughs> Who's the- is, it, is this gonna be the other man? Can we see who her boyfriend is? <laughs> Hi. It's Daka. Is it chameleon! This is Albert. Is it chameleon? Uh, hi. Nice Damn to meet you. That would legitimately be crazy. Oh, and this is my daughter. <laughs> Cindy. Who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> Who's Cindy? He's What's no it? one. I looked it up. Cindy is... Cindy is another Spider-Man. <laughs> her... She goes... Her name is Silk. And the big difference between her and the other Spider-Man is she has, like... um. She has natural webs. Like, like what? Like Sam Raimi? Like they come out of her, yeah. So she's basically just the original Peter Parker? I guess so. What's, his, what's the actor's name? Toby Maguire. Toby Maguire. <laughs> That's funny though. They they just finished the Peter and Miles arc and they immediately need another <laughs> Spider Man. Yeah. Now Miles has to Someone's immediately start tutoring. Somebody Sounds else. Like a job for me. I hope she's like evil. <laughs> She's probably gonna be even stronger than Miles. Yeah, <laughs> especially because she's a girl. You know they love that. Um. Yeah, there's gonna keep. It's gonna keep spiraling. Like for hundreds of years, there's gonna be a Spider-Man and then a new Spider Apprentice, and they're gonna keep getting stronger and stronger and stronger. Welcome back, Dana Club. We. I think the next one is gonna be the last one. I know that was a joke, but. Back a alien invasion, and we Don't say it. we did it, you fucking idiot. Spider-Man led the way, and every day New Yorkers rose to the challenge. 
Today I am so pleased to talk with one of those heroes. <laughs> These students are so happy. And avid motorcyclist. Please welcome Mary Jane Watson. Thanks, Danica. No, they're Please not. Call me MJ. It's MJ 2023. It so <laughs> they're doing online school. About Simcaria in a single sitting. Thank you for giving this to the world. It's so important. I heard we're going to get even more of your words in the form of a new project. Can you tell us more about it? Happy to. I've been thinking a lot about what's really important. Nothing will make you rethink your life like a citywide alien invasion, right? Relatable. And I realized how important the truth is. I started a podcast called The New Normal. Actually, I don't, know I don't think most New Yorkers were like that. Most you know, of them were there. walking around. I be honest, yeah, <laughs> I don't think they were really contemplating in life and like, Straight up, like no what next, if they even no make it. Rate. You know? They I know exactly were what like, you mean. When you let that they were like just in, going on strolls. Warps it into something else, like a, a like a symbiote. Mary Jane Watson, I don't everybody. think most New Yorkers knew what Any was going on. Any last notes you'd like to leave us with? Stay safe out there. Oh, and if you have motorcycle insurance, make sure it includes a villain damage clause. I could feel the pain in your voice there. I'm working through it. Danica Hart and Mary Jane Watson signing off. There's nothing. I just have to keep playing. Okay. What do you mean? To get these? Oh well, yeah. You know what's crazy about that one? What? That's not a venom soup. Basically the same design. Yeah, but it's not a that I like it wasn't. I I think I knew yeah, that. I knew that. Like that's cr the first like black suit wasn't Venom. That's crazy to me. It's just they wanted to redesign Spider-Man. I prefer the symbiote. I don't know about you. Out of the two. Oh, like these two? Yeah. Yeah, I prefer symbiote. I, I told you that. Like, no, when no, I no. got it. I'm like, yeah, I like that one. They're both cool, though. Let's... Let's do one I haven't used a lot. I wish they added in an option, even even if it was like clunky and bad, to just be Venom right now. <laughs> I love that there's just a normal Spider-Man option in this. <laughs> oh, I'm Miles. <laughs> <laughs> What Miles skin do I want to use? That one's cool. What one? Oh. Yeah. I, I played with that one a little bit. I didn't notice anything wrong with the cape on that. Yeah, it's not... Yeah, it's not this cape is little... It's like these like, big capes. Like, they might have fixed it by now. But, like... In cutscenes, it would keep like glitching inside of my body. Hmm. There's still a venom thing. Is there? Yeah, well, let's go take care of that, because that bothers me. That was a great game. I fucking loved that game. It was. And it had a emotional... Piece. It still wasn't... 
as... No. So like, I, I feel like it's enough. Yeah, I, I, it did have that moment at the end. I like that. But the I first like one... one ton of runaway meadow I don't see any use for them. I like that they're short. I was, I never wanted to do them in the past. I wanted just a quick way to get points. I didn't really like them then, but I don't, I don't see a reason for them at all now. They're, if you press like two buttons, max. There's never any enemies that show up afterwards. Well, that never made any sense to me. I'm glad that's gone. I thought that was a stupid idea. They just overdid that. Like, every single crime, you would take out the first wave, and then, like, five reinforcement trucks would show up. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. Mist. How are these things still here? I better take care of it. This might suck to do as hey. Miles without... The anti Anyone here? I think Pete. This is gonna hurt. Okay, I killed everybody. Get me out of here! Get me out of here! Get me out of here! I just- I- okay. I wanted to avoid the explosion. Oh, see? <laughs> this. Happened all the time. I guess they haven't fixed it. That's the last nest. I'm not sure if Peter got one. Oh. That one I really liked. I liked it with red. I like white too. Oh, wait, no. Time Never for mind. the city Never to mind. start Forget healing. what I said. That's cool with red. You like white as well? They're all cool. Green's kind of stupid looking. That might just be hatred for green. Oh, like, spilling over. Um, I'm not really close to finishing anything else. <laughs> so, I, I guess I can just start knocking things out. I already did that. You're, you're close with fire, with flame. I, I've only done two. There's only four. Okay. 
enough for this suit. I want... You're about to be Peter. I know. I, know. I kind of like this one. Days. <laughs> Time's up. The end of the world happened. <laughs> Thanks, Miles. Crazy cults all me. This is where my suit broke. They're still breathing. But I don't know if the flame is gonna be so lucky. Not after Yuri said how dangerous he is. We have no idea what they're Crimson Hour Doomsday event is. Oh, oh. She just runs in. This wasn't a part of the prophecy. Trust the flame and keep watching. She has to leave eventually. What? What? What are they doing over here? Whatever. <laughs> Check out the. See if the symbiote is black. Oh, it seems like it changed it. Yeah, probably. No. No, man. I guess not. It still kind of looks cool since he has white on the outfit. Yeah. expect it to happen. <laughs> yeah? Yeah? <laughs> what no oh <laughs> there it is. No what now? That's generally genuinely probably the worst part I want of all this cleared as soon as is possible. looking for how what to get to out of a room. Yeah. Now. Now. Yuri's behind that rubble. Take out these cultists I can get to her. And the flame. Wait. They're making explosives here. They're not waiting for well, the I'm not they doing this though. It. So let's get the free hit on the big guy. You're late, fool uh, oh, you get left behind. Don't you know? Uh, only squares show up to parties on time. Uh, Where's this crimson hour? Is the that does kind of look out of place now. Or that you're in the normal place. Yeah. I guess that's the reason you would use the legs. Just for immersion. There, there you are. <laughs> what a fight. 
Anything about Oscorp? <laughs> pressure on it until I can... I get to fight her? If you want the flame, you're gonna have to go through me! And you're about to swallow a lot of blood! You're going to have to kill him, Yuri! My prophecy says, kill the I'll finish you when I'm done! Imagine you could just web her onto a wall <laughs> in the fight. The flame needs to die, Spider-Man! I mean, the animation's the messed up because of her arms just then. Okay, she has weird timing. She has weird timing. Alright, stand everything. Stand everything. Euron never ends well, Yuri. Trust me. Trust you? What about All of you that damage me? just happened. You That's a there the last time he escaped. <laughs> you didn't find the body. You That's a weak what? Face. The weak suit. All of the damage that was just on it, like, just happened. Yeah. I'm not letting him get away again. I can't. It's so weird. I hate her timing. Imagine being a normal criminal now and seeing Spider-Man in a regular outfit and then he pulls out Venom powers. That would be so scary. <laughs> Congratulations, you get to live out the rest of your life behind bars. And I owe it all to you. She's dead. No, oh, she's not. God, that's beautiful. <laughs> Enjoy this a little bit. It was a great shot. It was a good shot. They used that in the trailer for the whole game. They, that's why I thought she was going to be a part of the main story. <laughs> she was like a big shot in the trailer. I'm trying to do the right thing. Um, you have any idea what that means? It's, I was going to say this earlier, but then it went to cutscene. It was. It's. And you're never wrong. I get it, like story-wise, why he retired, but it's kind of crazy to get his venom powers and then and then almost instantly be like, I'm done. Yeah. It's, and like the world <laughs> almost ended, and he's like, Yeah, now I trust my eyes. Like it, that was a two Spider-Man job. <laughs> yeah. If there was only one of you, you would have lost. about being good than doing good. You always have it. You used to believe we could do both. Yeah. Then I grew up. You talk like I've never saved anyone. Oh, and nobody died under your watch. I doubt that. It's destroyed. I liked that, I though. Liked it. I do too. It happens like, so fast. <laughs> but I like it's, that it gets damaged. It's just crazy. Like, that suit has no integrity.
I don't think she even touched his back. Like, that looks cool, just how damaged it is. Yeah, I agree. You're the one who wanted to wait to come! No! I blocked it, too. I just had no health. I missed time to parry, and it was over. Get out of my way! Her time you is so wacky. That. She, like, holds everything. I'm trying to do the right thing! As if you have any like that. idea what that means! You hope and try! I act! And you're never wrong! <laughs> You're like um. Oh, that's cool though. Yeah, I, I, I don't know that. Though. I like that if you use it. I completely wasted it, but I like that if you use that. It, it might be you. not gone. Yeah, oh, it's, it's not gone. You, you just have to get it up a little bit. Doing good. Always have. That's really, I, I like that it changes you used into to that. We could do both. When you go into Venom mode, yeah. that makes sense. Then I grew up. You talk like I've never saved anyone. Oh, and nobody died under your watch. I doubt that. You're the one who wanted to wait to come here! We have followed your plan! The plan! You're a fool! <laughs> and you're not the authority Again. on justice! Maybe when they add in New Game Plus, they'll add in, like, you... Venom, like, Blast. You're just a man! I know you never did New Game Plus on Jedi Fallen Order, but there. you could ha be in, like, the... Inquisitor suit with the red lightsaber, <laughs> like the one you have oh, in the flashback. Cool. And then never will. Will. Or not the flashback, like the, Too many. the hallucination I never sequence. Said I was yeah. Stop acting like it and let's kill him! <laughs> your priorities because I'd rather lose sleep over the one person I killed than all the ones I didn't save I don't like how the damage on his suit keeps switching back and forth though like in that fight it would be damaged and not damaged and damaged and not damaged that was whenever you people. I didn't else. like that skill, but like there was a reason. Yeah, but like healing doesn't fix your suit. Yeah, I, I yeah, that's I agree. I still don't like it, but there is a reason. It's not damaged anymore. Do I have to wait for the next one to show up? Yeah. Okay, I'll do the side mission that's right here. A monster in Queens. Better check it out. That's never happened before. <laughs> it's gonna be something silly. Wait, no! You smell the change. We have to fuck with them anyway. A new fine. day for this world. Staring down the face of the apocalypse offers a new perspective on life. Time to let go of old breathing. Rearrange. I'm so fucking upset. You can't go back to listen to those. Did you in the last the game? Yeah, you could in Spider-Man 1. Not, not could you, did you? New York I did. Okay, I did. We did not acquiesce. After we take a moment to celebrate the freedom we fought so hard to retain, we must...
must then turn our sights to the people responsible for putting us in harm's way to begin with. I'm talking about Oscorp and, of course, the Spider. You're going to hear a lot of conflicting reports and lies surrounding the events of last week. But let me assure you, this is still just the facts here. So let's lay them out. Spider-Man was seen wearing a black suit. Then a monster appears wearing a similar suit. Then our proud city is overrun by similar monsters. Oscorp is claiming it's Spider-Man's fault for stealing Oscorp's research. That doesn't surprise me. But Oscorp needs to be held accountable for creating these damn creatures in the first place. This is what happens when corporations try to play God and individuals overreach. Of course, hoping for legal ramifications for wrongdoers is like hoping for an ice cream shop in the desert. <laughs> we must not forget where the blame lies. It's grim. We can't forgive evil. <laughs> But for now, enjoy life. We're lucky to have it. Okay. Oh, Are there any more suits? No. And now, instead of this stuff, I'm focusing on the suits. I just wanted that stuff to help me with the boss fight. Yeah. From now on, my priority is suits. <sighs> yeah, I'll do this one and then uh, either you can go to bed. So we can watch something or do something. Yeah. Here, you, you go ahead and do this, and I'm gonna shower, and then afterwards I'll say. Okay. I am showered. Where the fuck am I? I'm feeling stinky. Oh, it's the house I work. Yeah. Alright, I'll be right back. Hello, ma'am. No, not right back. Who's there? I don't recognize your voice. It, it's. Spider-Man? Oh, I didn't realize. Alba, charmed to meet you. So, you need my help? Yes. There's a monster in my backyard. I can hear it at night. Scratching. Could it be a stray dog? Or a rat? My allergies could sense a stray dog half a mile away. And even New York rats don't get as big as whatever that is. Is there anybody else here who might have noticed it? Family member? Guide dog? Just me. No family. No neighbors. No service animals. Allergies, remember? Whatever it is, I need it gone. Got it. I'll look around and let you know what I find. Please. I cannot afford to repair any more damage. Fixed income, you know. Suspect number one. <laughs> Definitely an animal. Well, that's disgusting. Gooey. Is it a symbiote sneaking around? Let's see here. Traces of the chemical. Looks like it came from the woods. Tr 
trail ends here. There might be another clue nearby. These look promising. So it's something strong enough to rip through metal. Great. More gunk. Whatever it is, it's either leaky or slobbery. Yeah. This stuff leaves a real strong trail. This thing is way too heavy to be a big cat. I sure can't jump that one. Feels like I'm getting warmer. Where is this thing going? Whoa. Maybe Ganky knows something about this thing. Uh, hello? Hey, Ganky. That monster in Queens? It's one of those hunter beasts. But it's not attacking. Whoa. A hunter beast? Maybe we can hack it. It could give us some intel. There's something in its side. An arrow? Easy. This won't hurt. Probably. Since, you know, you're metal. How did you do that so fast? What should we do with this thing? Is Why was that ready on standby? Uh, try fetch? You wanna get the barrels? You a happy puppy? Wanna play chase? That's it. Good dog. Get him. I'll try to access its memories while it's distracted. Man, a lot of corruption in these logs. So, the arrow. Why would hunters shoot their own robot pets? Target practice? Let's find out. Hey, what's your name anyway? Designation F1D0. Fido. Good to know at least one hunter has a sense of humor. This log is cached to a server. Dare I? How deeply do you believe in your firewall? Deeply enough to download this audio playback. Get out of my world, you piece of junk. She's a trident of crime. You are the traitor. I was doing my job. Ah, defective garbage. Get back here. We've got company. We must have traced our log access. Easy. Easy. Stay. Heal, buddy. Heal! Yankee, send it a stop command! I can't access manual override. I've always wanted to say that. Focus! I think it's scared! It's definitely acting like it. Maybe that recording scared it! Repressed final memories? Always bad. I think its owner shot it. And covered up a murder! Fido, stop! No, 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 not the church! There you are. Yeah. You should have blown me to bits with an explosive bolt. Yeah. Yeah. you for my enemy hates. You are a defective ward of trash. So you're the guy Fido's so scared of? Oh, it's I. Get him, Fido! Fire him. Fido's not going anywhere with you! Get me out of here! That's all of them. Fido! Okay, don't worry. 
He won't hurt you anymore. Now, let's take care of that arrow. Okay, let's have a look. Little pinch. Ready? Good boy. Are you sure this is safe? Hey, if 10 million dog videos can't make you a good boy, there's no hope for any of us. You're a good boy, aren't you? Who's a good boy? Just to be safe, though, I'll wipe its memory completely. Except the videos. And you. Good call. We're back. Spider-Man? Wait, we? Me and this curious guy. Oh, oh no, my allergies. It's okay. Earlier you mentioned you couldn't get a guide animal? Well, I found you one. He's a dog, I guess. Made of various metals. Very allergy friendly. He's also got a few hundred guide dog videos uploaded to his memory. Really? He's everything I hoped for. I can have him trained at the center, so he can be properly registered. Already so helpful. Thank you, Spider-Man. Adios! Yankee? What's up? Hey, Mr. Parker. Um, you've been dealing with those fire cult guys, right? The followers of the flame? Yeah. I'm seeing reports on social media say they spotted a few of them on a rooftop in Brooklyn. I'll send you the details. I'll check it out. Thanks, Yankee. Is the Crimson Hour about to start? These. Uh, 
We're having fun. We're having fun. I'll wear it. No cultists. Looks like they're keeping watch on that scrapyard nearby. And there's some burned up papers about Oscorp. I better get down there. Oh, it's night. Great. They're still setting up. But this doesn't look like an Oscorp property. What are they? The Crimson Hour won't be long now, my embers. Can you feel it? Soon enough. All <laughs> oh, those innocent people. Gotta disable these bombs before they can hurt the civilians in those buildings. I can do this. So this is the Crimson Hour. Burning Brooklyn and everyone in it to the ground. Testing Way too late to try to evacuate everyone. That rooftop bomb alone could take out the entire apartment building. We all knew this day would come. Or at least the world did. We'll find you the soon enough, Spider. Look at that. So much for the quiet approach. The you gotta take them out before they detonate the bombs. That dude's dead. That dude is dead. His head hit the fucking like, railway track. Railroad track. Still 
You've stopped trains before, right? Yeah. No brakes. Have great. <laughs> it's not working. Got any ideas? Do we what you did in the subway. Do? Make up a new prophecy. <sighs> Before you and I met, one of my embers told me about his work at Oscorp and this treatment that they had discovered. Who cares, right? Fancy suit that can make you feel carnage? strong is just another case of the unworthy trying to cheat death and play God. That's what I thought too. But when devils attack the city, he seems like he would be carnage. like I prophesied. Oscorp sent out some of this treatment for safekeeping. I knew it was meant for me. Wait, is he carnage? Yeah, that looks red. Judgment. And carnage. No fucking way. That is awesome. just like last time but I'll find him you could have killed him but you saved me instead I told you I'm trying to save the most lives and you still do that pretty well 
You gonna turn me in now? I'll let you know when I find him. The plane wanted that train deal. That's so, so cool. I didn't at least we stopped him from taking innocent lives. I didn't even process. consider him being carnage before, but he's so obviously hey, carnage Gary, that whole time. Do you want help tracking down the flame? Thanks, but I need some time to myself. Besides, we've taken down a good chunk of his operation. So he'll be going back to the drawing board. I'll start checking his old aliases. Archie Abel, Walter Wackman, Cletus Cassidy. But this could take months. Maybe he can use. I'll I know about Cletus Cassidy. Thanks. I think that's what he was in the Amazing Spider-Man 2 me. game. Maybe I... <sighs> Set the stage. A train line in Brooklyn. Presumably, precious containers carrying commodities that we rely on. Spider Man and that new vigilante. Oh, did I just spoil the play? Can you see where this is going? I feel sorry for anyone awaiting a shipment today. It's not coming. You know who to thank. Explosions rock the line. Trains were derailed, almost colliding with an apartment complex. A local community group was injured. The followers of the flame, I'm not here to judge, were mercilessly attacked by Spider-Man. <laughs> Rumbling, I've heard. There's a new commando in Spider-Man's army. They go by rain. Now, I can't say for certain what the inciting incident was. But I find it hard to believe these followers were there to cause harm. More than likely, they were having a peaceful ceremony. Perhaps they could have chosen a different location, but who is Spider-Man to come in and break it up? He's infringing on our rights and destroying commerce in the process, folks. We need to keep redrawing the line because the Spider-Man and company keep stepping over it. What's the next freedom you expect Spider-Man to threaten? I'm awaiting your calls. I guess it say there's one for Peter.
like spelunking. And me without my headlamp. The data from the blind says this is some kind of greenhouse. Aw, oh, the hunters have a hobby. That's kind of cute. Not that cute. Don't expect any bouquets. Remember, we can alter the sprinkler's source to an herbicide to wipe out what they're growing. Good thing I have whatever the opposite of a green thumb is. Let's kill some plants. Make sure you turn off their relay. That's the valve that'll add herbicide to the sprinklers. Sleepy times incoming. You really weeded out those hunters like... Weeds. Maybe you're better with plants than you think. move could kill everyone here i don't make false moves let us hope every hunter is as flawless as you Now there'll be no reinforcements. I'm back. There is carnage. Oh, he saw that. Yeah, I... Before he even brought out the venom, as soon as he started talking to Peter, I'm like, oh my god. I never even thought of this before, but he, like, he's obviously fucking carnage, right? Like, he's insane. And then, as soon as he starts talking about, like, the friends at Ascorp have a new suit, I'm like, holy shit, no way. Remo do you remember when I was saying, I'm so glad they spelled this out for me? Because I did not pick up on this at all? Yeah. I was talking about that. <laughs> like, as soon as, I like... Sweet dreams. Peter was stuck under the thing, and I saw him turn the corner, I'm like, oh my fucking god, like, how did I not think of this before? And then he started talking about the suit, I'm like, of course. He's like the I most also... carnage carnage ever. Like, obviously. He's fucking I... crazy. In my defense, I also don't know anything, like, about carnage, and I, and I didn't beat the game yet, so I just, like... I was just like, oh shit, is this like another Venom? Is this <laughs> one of the uh, like other guys that are Venom? <laughs> so I was a little... I, I, don't, I don't think I would have picked up on it if he wasn't like, there needs to be carnage. Or oh, you didn't even said. get it when he brought out the symbiote? No, I was. That's when I was like, "Oh shit, he's like a venom or something." <laughs> and when he said carnage, I was like, "Oh, yeah, he looks like, he like, like, like he's got the red hair and everything." He's, yeah, I think carnage has red hair. So, and then like, uh, Yuri was talking about like his other names that he's gone by and she said like Keith Cletus Clay or something or Cletus Cassidy that was his name in Amazing Spider-Man 2 that's cool so that's when I'm like oh like that's why I didn't recognize his name because he went by Cletus Cassidy and how I know him by <laughs> so I, I'm happy that they mentioned that name 
I wonder if they use that to explain like the different people that have been Carnage. Because I'm assuming it's the same as Venom. That there's different people. Yeah. Don't you all have something like, better it's not to do? Just a bunch of different people in this world. Just one guy with a bunch of suit in them. Let's take this off. Ha! Knocked them out with a taste of their own poison. Now I feel that. Should I call poison control? They won't be growing anything here for a long time. Yeah, that mission kind of felt like a like, like post credit scene to me. Yeah, cause like there's no way he's not in the next game, right? <laughs> like now it's I feel like. So yeah, but like it's such a big thing, but it's also like they didn't treat it like it was a big thing. Well, I think they knew everybody was gonna play that, and even though it's a side mission, that's like the main side mission, right? Like. Yeah. Like, that was the side mission story. There are other side missions, but they're kind of new. Like, that was the big one. So, I, I wouldn't be surprised if that was their sneaky way of adding him in, and he's still gonna be a big part of the next game. It's gotta be, like, a sign of something to come. Or something. I, he's 100% gonna be in the next game. Like, no way, right? I Maybe. wouldn't say 100%. I would, I would, I wouldn't be surprised if they went a different direction than another single. So like, it's gonna be that any other symbiote kind of right. being a more evil venom. He's stronger too. I mean, the only difference is I don't think Carnage is trying to, like, save the world and, like, infect everybody. I think he just wants to fucking kill everybody. <laughs> like, I think he, he just goes on a murderous rampage. But I wonder, um... Yeah, I, I wonder if it's gonna be Green Goblin and Carnage or the main. Yeah, yeah, I still hope that um, I hope that Peter's part of the next one, like as a Spider-Man. Like obviously he's not as gonna be part of. That base data you yeah, obviously he, they're gonna focus on Miles more. Maybe it's got some intel but, like, Cindy. I feel like with any any story that's worthy of a mainline game, like. Oh, like shit's getting, shit's hitting the fan. Like there's a lot of bad guys and people are in trouble. Like, obviously, there's gonna be a lot of stakes. Peter would put whatever he has on hold to fucking help Miles, right? Like he wouldn't be like, oh no, dude, I'm retired. You got this. <laughs> like he'd be like, all right. Like this isn't just like normal crime. Like some serious shit is happening. I'll, I'll, I'm coming back to help you with this, right? I'm a, I'm like, like imagine, like a imagine, rises imagine if this game, like this was Miles, Miles was dealing with Venom. Do you really think Peter would be like, nah, bro, you got this. I'm in retirement. <laughs> he would come back to help. Yeah, but in that, if that was the case, he wouldn't be a part of the game really for like eighty percent of it. Well, I'm just, I mean, it doesn't make sense for this game, but I'm just saying, if if Miles was dealing with a huge problem like that, <laughs> Peter would help. I think Peter, I think, I hope. I'm, I'm scared they just made Peter retire forever, and he's never going to be a fucking playable character again. But I hope it's more like, hey, Miles... You can handle like the dumbass day-to-day -day crime by yourself. <laughs> like, like you you can do that stuff. But when there's another fucking sinister six or venom situation, I'll I'll hop in to help. I hope Peter comes back. I imagine Peter would come back. 
but I think if he, I think if he does, he might fucking die at the end. <laughs> Cause I mean, oh, so did you see this like glitch? Doc, Doc, <laughs> oh, you, yeah, I didn't even notice that. I'm like wild. Like, like, I feel like Doc Ock spelled it out pretty clearly. The final chapter. Jackpot. I sure hope Peter doesn't die. That'd be like a letdown. We need to see Peter happy once. <laughs> like live a good life once. Yeah, I agree. I, I don't know, man. Just him like being like, okay. like he's clearly getting There's an older file. based on this game. He's not Sasha, able to do as much successfully. Come home to me while we still have time left. Our time is over, my love. He's not able to do as much successfully. It's as still as happening. This is permanent. It's kind of cool. Yeah. Why is she speaking so sensually? Craven's family. They sound cool. Could be trouble down the line. We should keep clearing out all these bases then, in case they come to visit. Aren't you Miles Morales right now? No, I'm Peter. I thought this was a Miles. I thought this was Miles. The hunters are gone and the drones are no. grounded. Pretty good. I th the only thing that's Miles specific, actually, he has a lot. These are Miles specific. These are Miles specific. And these yeah, are no, Miles I'm not specific. saying. I know you're not. I know there wasn't a Miles specific mission. But okay, I what thought if this I was, like change? Suits? I thought this was Miles suit. No. Okay. Well, let's pick a suit that looks good with it. That would be good. Yellow. Maybe one of the 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 uh, suits you already had. The like the free suits. Yeah, maybe the ones you paid. I'm the ones you actually there. paid. I think paid this for, I guess. is a good candidate. Cause that kind of looks like electronic too, and that spider part. Yeah. This could work like a gold version. That one. Maybe. Also that one. I kind of like this suit. I think this works. <laughs> yeah. This is... This is kind of awesome. This happening. Did it's awesome. That guy? What do you say? Hey, pizza! <laughs> hey! Oh the mama the pizza! Fucking New York. <laughs> Imagine you're walking down the street and you hear somebody go, Hey, pizza! <laughs> that was. I know you didn't hear it, but that was like a perfect. <laughs> I'm I'm happy. Why does this unironically like look so cool though? <laughs> That's awesome. If I was like if I had more time I would take full advantage of this. If it wasn't three AM and I wasn't I didn't want to play this game anymore. <laughs> I would take so many glamour shots right now. Like, I, I almost don't want to close the game. This is a once in a lifetime. I will never have this effect again. What time is it? Is it? It's, oh, it's almost four. So, can you change the time of day in this? I don't think so. They might add that though.
can change the parry timing. That's a lame. That was a thing in both of the other games. Maybe they'll add it in. So what? Is it just daytime forever? No? I'm gonna guess it naturally switches. Fuck his deuce. That is confusing. Get me out of here. That like ruined my brain. The camera was all fucked up. I want to get a shot of him. Like it'd be cool doing it off the other stage. Okay. Do you think you're so into photo mode in these games more than you are into the other ones? Because Peter's a photographer. No. I was I was super into photo mode in Ghost of Tsushima. I I would have full fucking like photo mode sessions. I took some good fucking pictures too. I went try hard. I need it to spider bot to bring me potassium when I need it most. He didn't do like the cool pose. There we go. See, the camera's all like <laughs> you see the camera's like all fucking weird. I can't get the shot I want. Well, that's kinda cool. It it is very weird controlling this for some reason. That's I'm not, cool. I'm not gonna put any effort into like messing with settings because I don't care that much. But <laughs> this just looks crazy. Venom would be shaking in his boots if I pulled up like this. You know what was weird to me? What? With how pretty much like every side mission has like a final like 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 every side mission series has a finale. Like was that the finale there. of the Carnage one? Yeah. Okay. There's there's some big thing at the ending. I, I assumed when Rob the photographer guy was like was like going on like you know the one thing you did man. Yeah, I thought you were gonna get shots of Spider Man. Yeah, that's weird, but it's such a, like, easy thing to have, I feel like. Let's see what Dr. Young is up to out here. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> Alright, I'm done watching this. I gotta find a YouTube video. Are you going to bed? Yeah, it's almost four. Fear, thank you so much for helping us out with our machine learning trials. Similar to what you did in the Emily May Foundation. Maybe tomorrow we can do our first our stream. Uh, probably not, but maybe. This recording will continue. Why not? I have a frat Glad thing these scientists can still work oh, from home so after the foundation was destroyed. You shut the fuck okay. up. Let's get up and running. This is a two-part trial. First, you need to teach the drone what it should target to protect our bumblebee population. You know, right. whenever you have time Let's train some bee drones. Oh, and you need to do it before the drone depletes its charge. Sorry, we're working on battery life. It's like Got it. With your best Let's go. Bug ever. No oh, thanks, bee-eating wasps. Who knew rats ate bees? 
That sure will eat anything. I love that we're training this thing to fucking murder rats. <laughs> Word. You completed the data set. Now, in the second part of the trial, you'll teach the drone to identify and mark optimal nest sites. Be realistic. Here we go. Look for the flags. These are ideal relocation spots. This sounds. This sounds like the dentist drill. I'm like a B real estate agent. A B. All right, real now agent. we're gonna put some water in there. All right, close your mouth on the tube. Careful, low battery. Just putting some fluoride on your teeth. You've completed the set. The drone will self-pilot home and upload the data. Thank you, Peter. All right, now time for the water. That should be some good stuff for the AI. Hope Dr. Young finds it helpful. I want to do like one crime so I level up one more time and then I end the stream. Watch YouTube and go to bed. Alright, don't disappear on me. Don't you go. Don't you dare. There! Gotta get those robots off the streets! Enforcement here. We're in violation of several ordinances. Nice. I was wondering if this could get any harder. Walk with your blade. Coming in with friends. What? How? It could make any sense. be expected. This one's cool.
Does it do that for the symbiote? Oh, that's cool. What about for this? Why doesn't it keep it for that? I want to see what the Wolverine one looks like. What was that? It's still doing it on miles, too. Weird. Alright, see you guys.